Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we gonna do today? Well, today we're doing a review of the ECEEN 10 watt solar panel charger. Uh, the reason why I got this was because I wanted something a little smaller than what I currently own and something which I could easily just toss in my pack, not take up a huge amount of room and weight. It's 12 ounces on my scale, but yet also provide enough power to get the job done. So let's take a quick look at um, exactly what we have here. Here is the uh, solar panel charger. I really like this uh, camouflage color and I like these tie off points, kind of like webbing. And the sewing is pretty nice on that. If you notice, there's um, two sets of zippers. The top material looks kind of, it feels and looks like kind of like a neoprene or some kind of like, like cushion material. And the zipper itself right there, it's almost as if it's, um, it self seals. It's kind of nice. Now the um, charger itself, this it didn't come with. I believe in charging a battery first whenever possible. And this little um, 4,000 milliamp hour battery happens to fit, power bank happens to fit right there. So this didn't come with it, but I, I, as part of my solar kit, I keep it there. But these did come. And these are um, some okay carabiners. I mean, these aren't bad. I mean, they're obviously made to latch onto this. So you can just put it on the back of a pack. But these aren't too bad. And it came with a um, little uh, USB cable. It's not a bad one. And a very nice, um, zippers up wonderfully. Take a look, there's a single um, USB right there. As opposed to other ones which have multiples. And you just basically um, plug it in like this. That's all. Unplugs like that. This little USB cover pretty much never really stays on unless I really intentionally go out of my way to like squish it on. Now it'll stay on just fine. But I rarely go through the time to properly squish it back in. But it will stay on if you go through the time to, um, to do it. So it's just a single port, no lights, no nothing. Very simple, very simple. And the zipper, zipper, zippers up real nice. The main panel, I like these little flaps. Those are nice. On zippers like that, opens up like this. They call these, these are um, sun power cells, a little different, um, like sun power panels. They're a little different than the um, other ones I have. So they're, they're not bad at all. Um, we'll talk more on those uh, a little bit later. But these are excellent panels. They're high efficiency panels. And it's the only charger I have that has these panels. So it's pretty neat. And basically, um, when you're packing it, it goes up back like that. To charge something. Plug it in right there. Phone looks good. Then you plug it in. It didn't come with a lightning cable. It came with regular USB. So you have to obviously use your own cable. And there we are. And I love that sound. I really love that um, free energy sound, so we'll do it again. I love that, I just love that. It never grows old. A little about these panels. I have several different type of panels with a couple different chargers. Um, 
These ones are a little bit different. I have some older ones which are lower efficiency and I have some newer ones which are high efficiency. One of the downsides I noticed was that the higher efficiency panels were great when it was super, super bright out. But when the um, sky kind of got clouded over a bit, they didn't seem to work as good as the lower efficiency ones. That just is my observation. Not that there was much energy through a cloudy sky, but these ones worked pretty good um, when it was cloudy out. Well, as good as be expected. So let me show you that. So we have, um, see, 4.12 volts at 0.34 amps in the overcast conditions. This definitely shows um, charging. I put this over here because this thing has its own solar panel. So I put that, blocks it. It's not a lot of energy, but it is energy. So it will work. It'll give you some power under um, less than ideal solar conditions. So it was able to provide energy even with clouds in the sky. Although, granted, the amount of energy provided isn't particularly massive, but what do you want? And during the course of the day, with a little bit of clearing, then a little more clouds, and a little less clouds, it was still able to charge the power bank because it was continually dumping energy into it. All right. I think what we'll do is we're going to charge this device here, which is an iPad. It's a notoriously slow charger. We'll also test and see what we have for voltage and how good of a charge we're going to get in this nice summer sun. We've got uh, 5.19 volts, so that's perfect. Uh, 0 0.00 amps because we don't have it under a load. But let's do something about that. Okay, let's um, see, what you, see what we're dealing with here. Percentages this last 51%. All right. So let's um, plug it in. There we are. Start. We just started the timer. And this is charging right now. We'll leave this right here where it's protected from the sun. There we go. Um, 4.73 volts, 1.12 amps. As we got under load right now. I could position the panel a little better for sun, which I'll probably do, but there it, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So see what we get in one hour. And here's a stopwatch. Stop. Lift up. What do we got? There we are. Let's see. 71%. That's not bad. 71%. Let's see. 71% from, um, I think it was 51%. So, that's, um, if my math is right, that's 20% in one hour. 20% and this battery is a, a nearly a 700, actually 7,000 milliamp hour battery on this, um, on this iPad. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. For, uh, for one hour. That's pretty good. All right, so what do I think? Overall, I'm pretty pleased with the um, ECEEN solar panel. It's inexpensive and pretty lightweight. If you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Y'all have a great day.